When was the last time that something good turned into too much of a good thing? Maybe on your birthday, mom let you eat all the ice cream you wanted, but afterward, your stomach didn't feel so good. It could be you got an awesome new game, but you couldn't stop playing even after lights out. And the next morning, you could barely get out of bed. Or maybe you love to make your friends laugh. What gives you the power to walk through walls? A door! <laughs> but you can't stop doing silly things in class, so you get in trouble with the teacher. God has given us so many good gifts to enjoy and good things to do, but even the tastiest food or most fun activity can cause trouble if you don't know when to stop. And just knowing what's best isn't enough. You have to actually do it. Choose against one more scoop. Put down the game. Truth is, none of us are good at showing self-control on our own. We need help. But here's the good news. Self-control is a gift of God's Holy Spirit. When we ask God for help and choose to keep walking with Jesus, it becomes easier to make the wise choice. To say no when a good thing becomes too much. When you can tell God, I will remember that your way is better and you live it out, others can see God at work in you. That's why self-control is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.